Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters. <laughs> it's right here. I am Mike Galetta, a.k.a. Hamilton Mike, bringing you another special that you're just going to love and cherish and just go nuts about. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the NFL. And the draft is going to be upcoming April 28th through the 30th. And for the first time since 1963, the NFL is going back to Chicago. All these years are going to New York, uh, Radio City Music Hall. They're going back to Chicago at the Theater of the Roosevelt U. Or Theater of Roosevelt U. Um, first time since 1963, they're going back to Chicago. You know, mix it up a little bit, go back there. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to try to, we're, we're reaching out. We're trying to work out a deal with Chuck Donahue, who was on with me last year for the draft. We're going to talk to you about the draft special. We're going to get some good picks going. We had a phenomenal, you know, year last year. So we'll see what happens this year. Um, a couple notes for you. The Jets pick at number 20. Just turned really interesting, besides the draft being interesting. I mean, the first eight, nine picks, once they go a certain way, it's just going to it's gonna go ballistic. It's really interesting how a lot of teams are moving up, moving down, things to that effect. But the Jets pick at number 20 is going to be interesting now. This week, Thursday, Jets um, left tackle DeBrickashaw Ferguson announced his retirement from the NFL at age 32. Here's a guy who had 167 starts, a 10-year career, um, no injuries, never been on the injury report. I mean, that's 167 consecutive starts. You know, it, people say linemen sometimes, it's not that big of a deal, but you know what? Here's a guy that's a solid guy that's been there for you through 10 years of NFL play. It's going to be interesting to see what the Jets do with that pick now. That could change a lot of things. They could try to move up to get an offensive lineman to fill that spot. They could stay tight and or move back down. It's going to be really interesting to see what the Jets do with that pick now with, with the, uh, the retirement of the Brickshaw Ferguson. Um, the, the good thing about the Jets, though, with that move is they're going to get $9 million in cap room relief. So maybe you bring in a guy to fill that spot. But, uh, you know, again, it, it, great career to Brickershaw Ferguson, phenomenal guy, you know, retirement at an early age. Um, the other note we have for you Thursday was reported that um, Kubiak, coach of the Denver Broncos, reached out to Johnny Manziel and to talk to him about a quarterback position. Huh? What the heck is he thinking? What are you thinking talking to Johnny Mansell? Now, in an interview with Vaughn Miller hearing this, Vaughn Miller said if I was running the team, Mansell would have already been signed. What? Are you, guys, are you guys really nuts with this? There's no way that it's, it's even possible that you would think about signing Johnny Mansell. Okay? Okay, so let's go into the season with, uh, let's go into the season with Mark Sanchez and Johnny Mansell. Hmm. Either you flip a coin or you see who's good that half an hour before the game. I don't understand that move at all. In any sense, they didn't sign Manziel. I don't think there's any more talks ongoing, but that, that to me is just unbelievable. Even though, you know, we have some specials about him, this and that. Any kind of, any kind of football knowledge out there with the NFL, you got to understand, Manziel is not ready for football again. Number one, he's not that good. Number two is he's got all kinds of off-the-field issues in the way of, uh, you know, it's reported about alcoholism, things to that effect. His whole stint in L.A. or uh, Las Vegas with, with that whole gambling thing. I mean, come on. He's not ready for football right now. He should take the year off, go to Canada, tear it up, maybe even go two years in Canada, tear it up, and see where it goes from there. But in any sense, that was, that was the rumor that he was talking to the Broncos. But... In any sense, that's all the time we have for Sports Box today. Keep an eye out. We're going to have some good stuff coming. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribing means that it's a free subscription. It doesn't cost you anything. It just gives you new updates of when my stuff comes out. So make sure you do that. So remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here. Thanks for watching, folks. Keep an eye out for some new stuff coming. See you. Don't forget to subscribe.